Hey guys, this is Edwin from The Recording Connection. We're going to go over creating atmospheric pads. This is great for inspiration. Let's say you don't know how to start a track. Something, a good bed, a good foundation, and then you could take it on from there. Let me show you what I'm talking to you about. Here I pulled up Expand is a stock plugin, but I'm a fan of using what we have, right? Instead of going out and buying different uh, plugins, let's let's make the best out of what we have. Now, what I picked right here is a soft pad. It's called Sunrise, right? Now let's play it uh, in its original, uh, uh, roughly in its original settings here. Beautiful roundness, right? It gives you this nostalgic feel from the get-go. Always keep in mind when you're creating sounds, why are you creating it? What is it making you feel? Where is it taking you, right? What I'm hearing is that tack is a little, it, it's dull, but I want it even duller, right? Because this is a foundation. I want, you know, it, it's a pillow. Open up the release. Oh, that's cool. And also when you're trying out, let's say you guys, you know, let's say you don't know what the knob means exactly. Try to play with it and see the little uh, textures that you can do. Think, think a few questions. Think, okay, how is this helping the sound? If it is, how is it not helping? Or how, where can I take the sound? Can I change the sound with this effect? Kind of deal, you know? Perfect. Let me put in some fun. And the reason I changed the, the, the fine tune setting is because I don't want it to be too perfect. That's the, that's the, the thing um, that can get tricky, especially in the, in the digital age, right? Everything is perfect, everything is in tune. There's nothing wrong with that, but keep in mind, analog records back in the day, they're not perfect. These machines weren't perfect. That, that's the quote unquote weren't analog warmth, right? And it's because sometimes they weren't on tune, right? They weren't instruments weren't in tune not that all your instruments are going to be out of tune but if i know that this pad is not going to be out of tune i'm going to make sure that the next pad which i'm going to go over right now is right on in, in tune that way you know it's not all off perfect i love this now is that it no it's it's not it keep in mind um what the way companies create these sounds is to give you that wow factor right is to to make it to they want you to use their sounds for production, be it expand, be it any third party uh, company as well, you know? So they're gonna come in with extra kinks, I should say. They're gonna come in with a reverb. It's gonna sound huge. Make sure you guys, you guys take those off. That's really important. Take those off and then add them later on. So you could have more control or uh, the mixer that's gonna mix your record can have more control. So I, let's say I have that. I love this, right? Is that it? Do I go on with a guitar? What I, what I love to do is start layering stuff. The same way I layer drums, the same way I layer pads. And what I did is uh, I actually created a duplicate track and open expand as well and change the sound. Now you might say, well, an expand you could put in the bottom and kind of layer in there. That's great if it's a quick thing, but overall you want each stem to be different. You want each sound, I should say, to be in, in, in a different stem, right? And make sure that the sound kind of, you know, goes with what you, what you have. And this is what I picked. Give me a second. Let me unmute this. Here we go. Now we're taking up the low and high frequencies, right? You guys see how I'm kind of balancing that out from the beginning. Um, from what I'm hearing now, let's say if I continue this production, this sound might uh, be taken off. But the reason I put it right now is because I want this balance. I want this balance with frequency spectrum. I want to get into the track. I want to make sure my ears don't just stay in one side and try to build up that way, you know? Just try to take off the cut off. That's perfect. What we could do as well, if it's part of the sound, we could actually add in an effect, you know, add in an EQ. I hear what I maybe 
filter it out, right? Who knows? I actually like that much better. I like that, that how thin it is. Very cool because it actually opens the lane for other stuff to come in, right? So I have those two spectrums like I was talking to you at the beginning, but I still have space to be creative, to add some stuff in later on. Now, I want you guys to actually hear this and, and, and just imagine what else you would add to it. If, it's, if ideas come to mind, that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. If, if ideas don't come to mind, then there's either something wrong with the sound, something, it, it, something um, that you could change maybe with the sound, you could add a, uh, add a plugin. This is before obviously printing to audio. I could hear drums being loud and clear on top of this, for example. I could hear guitar, things like that, just frequency-wise, right? Frequency -wise, right? So guys, this is how to create an atmospheric pad.